Zoax.net. Lesson 0. Installing Visual Studio Express 2012. For this lesson, you will need a computer that runs the Windows operating system. This lesson shows you how to install the free version of Microsoft C++ compiler. This will allow you to write, compile, and run C++ programs, and it is completely free to use. Begin by opening a browser like this one. Navigate to this URL or go to our lesson page and left click the link there. Microsoft may make changes to the site, so it may look slightly different, but you should see a link for Visual Studio Express 2012. Left click it. This should bring you to a screen with blue bars like these. Left click the plus in the Windows desktop bar to open the download options. Scroll down the page a little and you should see these options. Left click the Install Now link to begin the installation. You may see a warning at the bottom of the screen like this one asking you whether you want to run or save the file. Left click the Run button to run the installer. This will bring up the license terms shown here. Left click the box to agree to the terms. You can decide whether or not you want to join the Customer Experience Improvement Program too. Once you check the box to agree to the terms, this large install link will expand out from the bottom of the window. Left click the install link to continue. After you click that install link, you may see a warning message box asking you if you want to allow the program to make changes to your computer. Left click the yes button to continue. Then the installation should begin and you will see two progress bars like these along with the funny little five dot animation below it. It will take a while to complete the installation. When this is finished, you should see a large launch link like this one. Left click it to continue. After you click launch, you will see this dialog telling you that you must register the product within 30 days in order to keep using it. The registration is free and I would recommend doing it right away to avoid the hassle later. To register, left click the register online link and go through the questions until you get your product key. Once you get the product key, enter it into the box and left click the next button. Again, you may see another warning message box asking you if you want to allow Microsoft to make changes to your computer. Left click the yes button to continue. After that, you should see the screen telling you that the product key was applied. Left click the close button and you should see this progress bar running. When that finishes, the IDE should open and you are ready to begin programming C++.